everybody, it's Jace with Marshall Made Collectibles, and today we have a very special review and unboxing. What we have in front of us is the exclusive gift set from Infinite Statues and Caustic Plastic. This is their John Wayne set, and you get a lot of stuff with this. I uh, was not expecting. Of course, in the Brown Shipper, you get the John Wayne 1 6 scale figure that we're about to open. You get an exclusive diorama luxury magnetic stand that is only available with the exclusive set and you get a 12 by 16 art print that is signed and numbered as well as a t-shirt that has that rooster cogburn john wayne image on the front and out of the brown shipper we have the art box which is something to behold it is that wonderful artwork of john wayne as rooster cogburn from true grit looks absolutely amazing uh, when it comes to the side here, you will see a picture of the actual figure standing on that exclusive base that has the fire pit diorama. When you come to the back, we have all of our legalese, everybody that brought it to you. And since it's the exclusive edition, it lets us know what number ours is out of 200. Mine is only 43 of 200. Again, very small edition number. For a actor as popular as John Wayne or a character as popular as Rooster Cogburn was from True Grit. As we swing back around to the front, we're back to the beautiful front of that box. Again, the same thing that we got on our deluxe art print. And my art print happens to be number 87 of 200. The only thing that would have been nice is if the number of the art print correlated with the number of the actual figure that we got. With the slip cover removed, we can see the figure in the box. Uh, if we turn this around now, on the back, it is just that wooden motif that looks like the American flag. Again, we have a list of everything the figure comes with. And then we are back to the front. Okay, and we're going to bring all the accessories up so we can take a up-close and personal look at everything. We have his satchel. It is nicely weathered. There's a foam block in it to give it some size. And you have your adjustable strap there. This looks very nice. You have the Duke's bracelet. And if you're not familiar with this, he does wear this. And it's on his right wrist throughout the movie. Um, I think there's more significance to that. I think it's a bracelet he wore in almost all his movies. You have his rifle. Uh, what's nice about this is the rifle has some weight to it because everything that you see on here that is metal is actually metal. The stock and right here, that is all plastic and it's painted in this wood grain motif. But this part here in the barrel and even uh, this part here, uh, which is for like cocking the gun, that is all metal. So it's got a nice heft to it. This coffee pot, and there's a very nice patina on this. So it does come across looking like pitted metal. Uh, very well painted, very nice. And it has a full bottom. A lot of times you'll see stuff like this and that will be hollow because it's just to make the illusion. But it, it's nice that this is a completed pot, coffee pot. We have his mug, and again, it's done in that patina metal finish. So this is like his tin cup that he would take with him. Very nicely done. We have a whiskey bottle, and it says Kentucky Straight Whiskey Bourbon. Um, and if you're not familiar with the movie, they even make a point to let everybody know that Rooster loves to pull a cork, uh, and he does so throughout the movie. Very nicely done. You've got that tinted look inside to mimic that there's whiskey in there still. We have his Colt revolver. Again, this is metal. The body of the gun is metal. The handle is, of course, plastic and done in that wood finish. But beautifully done. And again, has a very nice weight to Get it. Some extra hand pegs and in there as well are some uh, bullet shells. He comes with a total of eight hands altogether. Very nice veining detail. 
Love that the nails are actually painted. You even have the cuticle part of the nail, which is something that you don't normally see painted on hands. Uh, they went above and beyond. Left hand trigger hand. Probably some of the best 1-6 scale painted hands I've seen. And again, this was not given to me. I bought this with my own money. And I am saying that on my own accord. We have his vest. It is a leather-like material. The inside is lined. And the back is a more cottony type material. Um, you do have his... Deputy U.S. Marshal's badge, and you can actually even make out the printing on that. It is super tiny. That is affixed. I didn't know if it was a magnet or not. Wow, that is incredible. We have his scarf, our neckerchief, and we have the base that comes with the regular figure, and it has... This is magnetic, and you have a wood grain there. You have the JW there and on the bottom it has the caustic plastic action deluxe figure infinite statues designed in italy actually really like this stand itself especially with the jw on the front finally we come to the figure the boots are a leather-like material the spurs I like, they are way up too high. So I am going to see about lowering mine. His spurs should not be at his ankles. They should be at the heel area. Um, the figure's got a heft to him. He's got a lot of weight. Uh, pants look good. Open that up. We can see his gun belt and it's a leather-like material. Uh, his regular belt with his eagle belt buckle directly from the movie. He is padded, so he does have some girth to him, which he should. Uh, again, we have the extra hands that are on here. I love this coat. In fact, I don't know if I'm gonna put the vest on him because I'm going for that look uh, that he had when he is, that you see in that photograph that makes the cover of the box. And then we have that head sculpt. And my God, it looks good. I know a lot of people were giving this piece grief over it, but it is the older John Wayne. Got the little gap in the mouth so you can put one of the cigarettes he comes with. The hat is affixed to the sculpt. That, that blue eye, it just looks so good. I know a lot of people say that this is not a, a uh, figure that does well with photography, but I, I think it just really depends on the lighting. That is John Wayne. I think they killed it. They did an awesome job with him. Even all that detail on the gun belt is just amazing. Not to mention the suspenders as well. And he's a big boy. He needs to be a big boy. John Wayne was not a little fella. Out of the box, this is what the uh, exclusive stand looks like. Um, you have this campfire set. Got some rocks there. Uh, they got like a flat river stone on top to make like a cook surface. You got some wood that's burned down to the coals. Um, very nice dirt type motif up here. I do like how the ash has fallen around and the paintwork on it is, is pretty decent. Um, you got a brown ridge that goes all the way around. There is nothing on the bottom. Again, this has some weight to it. Um, you can use a clear pole that it comes with if you were going to have a figure that was non-magnetic, which I probably will. Um, you do have this little money bag or gold bag. 
that you can use to plug up this hole here. So you won't have like a gaping hole if you decide to use it as magnetic. And it does come with this little grate and it's very made out of a flexible rubber. And I guess you could just do like that number to it or you could put it over like that and complete that look. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Duke on here and see how he looks standing up on the base. And we're gonna go ahead and put him on the turntable too and I can give you some final thoughts. And we got the Duke on his exclusive diorama stand. Again, this one is magnetic and it really does complete a look for him. Uh, absolutely love the fact that it gives you a place to put that coffee pot and his little coffee cup. Uh, you have that little grate that goes over from where the fire is, and it gives you a little extra place to, like, put stuff. Um, the figure itself uh, going over everything is phenomenal. Uh, I think uh, Infinite Statues and Caustic Plastic really went out of their way and delivered a fantastic and above-board product. Uh, the head sculpt is phenomenal. The paintwork on it is phenomenal. Uh, the outfit is excellent. Uh, the tailoring is really well done. My only nit is the placement of those spurs, which were so far high up on the ankle, and then they felt the need to glue them on the boots. So to remove them and lower them took a little finagling, and it did leave little marks on the boots higher up. But now because uh, the spurs are in the proper position, the pants come down and hide any of those marks. It's still like another quarter inch from where you see the bottom of the pants before uh, you get to where those marks would be. It is something you can fix with some leather paint and some uh, blending of some acrylics on top of that where it won't even be an issue. But with the pants being down as low as they are now, it's not even a non-starter. It's not a big deal. Um, everything else that he comes with is phenomenal. Uh, the satchel, the coffee pot, the coffee cup, all the weapons, uh, the fact that they're made out of metal, all the bullets for in the belt, uh, the little extras, like even his rolled up cigarette. Uh, the vest is phenomenal. That's sad that I'm not gonna use it, but I'm trying to create that look that he had at the end where he's telling Ned, that he aims to kill him in a minute or take him to Fort Smith to hang. Uh, so it's nice to have that option that you could create different looks from the movie. Uh, if you hang back, I will have some HD photos here at the end and you can see everything from the accessories to everything he comes with, including the packaging up close and personal. And again, this is Jace with Marshall Made Collectibles. Thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.